What's up, everyone? Today I'm gonna go through couple edit on my feed, couple picture that、uh, especially this one, the carousel one. So let's get started. I'm gonna edit from the Visco app. So as many have you have seen,、uh, I only edit on the Visco in my phone. So this is the original picture from the Fujifilm XT2. And、uh, as you can see, I use the 23 mm f 1.4. I have been using the 23 mm recently more in the city, especially when in the city it has、um, more room、uh, to create for the 23 mm because it's more crowded in the city. So I use the 23 mm more. So this one, I these are the my favorite、uh, E5 HB2, E6, E7. I just put them in front. The、um, I love the update from the Visco so that、uh, they can put it in front or as a favorite. So I would start with the E5 filter. So as you can see, it might be too bright right now, but、uh, as I'm going in more, I reduce the exposure more, maybe minus two, and then increase the sharpness. I like to increase the、um, contrast a bit more. So and then you you can see the lines are rotated. Uh, it's tilted to the left. So I have to rotate to the right. As、uh, you might have seen in the Instagram crop, uh, is uh four by five. So I use the four by five. Just uh make sure uh there are enough headroom on top. So I I give more headroom a little bit more headroom on top, and. Let's see. I can close down a little bit, and then add more contrast, and then reduce the、um, highlight safe. So probably plus four point five in here. So it depends on different situation. So this one is basically done. So it takes me like two minutes for one edit, and then I can just save as actual size. So next one because the next one is similar, so I just need to just copy and then paste my setting, and then it's pretty quick for my workflow. So my workflow is basically edit from the phone on the go, like on the street in the coffee shops. <clears throat> I use the SD card reader. <clears throat> Excuse me. I use the SD card reader so that it's faster to transfer from XT2 to my、uh, iPhone 7 Plus. So that it's easier for me to edit. So this one,、uh, I'm gonna crop closer so it create more impact on the vi visual impact visually, but still need some more headroom on top. So, and I can tilt it slightly a little bit more so that it's more perpendicular to the ground. And that's it. I can save this one. And then next one. So this one was a hair flip with the Stephanie on、uh, last Saturday. So the hair flip, I like to use HB2 if it's green tone background. So I started with the HB2, and this is the classic chrome base. So this is the classic chrome, and then this is HB2. It's a little bit high contrasty. So I reduce the exposure a little bit more so that it's more. Uh, focused in front of the portrait, so I just、uh, do the similar steps, increase the、uh, even more for contrast, rotate a little bit slightly、uh, to the right so that it's more perpendicular to the ground, and the next step is to、uh, crop crop it closer so that it's more concentrated on the head of the model. So that it has a more powerful message for the viewer. So the more closer and then the more、uh, the hair, like the flow, you will impact the viewer. And I can leave a little bit more room on top just for imagination. So that yeah, that's、uh, about the crop. And you can even crop closer. It depends on your preference. You can crop this close also. So there's a there's another way to crop is to crop it even closer, so that it's like a close up but it has the mood in it. So you can crop it like this, 
and I think this one the front is too tight for me so I can just leave more room in the front so so it depends on your preference do you want to have more room in the front to have more moody style because this uh, when you crop close it has more impact on the viewer so this one I use the prism on the lower left just to reflect uh, the flower wall to me and this one also the classic chrome Fujifilm X-T2 23mm f1.4 so I started with the E5 for this one because it has a general brown tone in it and I reduced a little bit of the exposure increase the sharpness a little bit highlight and you can see on the, this one has a little bit of white uh, maybe trash on the right side so I need to rotate a little bit more and then just crop that one out because it acts like a distraction to me any any little thing on the edge kind of distracted my eyes a little bit but uh, I also make sure it's uh, in the center because for Instagram center has more space it depends uh, what's your feet overall consistent looks like maybe you have uh, more room on the left then you crop more uh, room on the left uh, overall for one row of the Instagram so I crop it this close and then to see how it goes so I still leave a little bit of prism in the right side just for the uh, feel of it uh, not too much uh, to overwhelm the portrait so and I don't have to add it too much for this one because the overall tone is already pretty good so I just uh, added some uh, more uh, contrast for this one so save it and then next one is the banana leaves in the Sacramento Capital Park so it's kind of like tropical style I might start with the HB2 to see how it goes this one is too dark when I start HB2 and then I, I lower a little bit more then I reduce the exposure more increase and you can see it's still tilted slightly to the left so I will rotate it back so that the whole body is perpendicular to the ground I, I want to make sure it's like 90 degree vertical to the ground so I will reduce the crop a little bit more so that it's more focused on the eyes it has a stronger image but still leaves some leaves in the background so that it has in the context of like the tropical style background I can still see a little bit of dot in the right side so that's uh, the, the edit for this one I can just save it and then I probably copied oh sorry uh, I think I just pasted the other one I have to just I just press the wrong button I just need to update it back to a brighter one so that's about it this one and then let me do it again so so this is how you can see how I um, like do the workflow things so I save as and then I can do the copy and then paste to the next picture because they have a similar um, they have a similar location and then similar tone to it I can just copy and paste and then do it quickly just just uh, recrop it so that it's more focused on the center of the frame because the banana leaf is framed in the center so that's how I edit the second picture so next one I'm gonna do some prism uh, editing so this has the original using the suncatcher prism if you haven't checked it out you can just search um, suncatcher prism in the YouTube or just go to my how to list I all the photo shoot suncatcher uh, sing suncatcher just search some keyword I have go to my previous video I saw how to use the suncatcher so I really like the rainbow effect on the model so I will use the E5 to start with for this one and I reduce the essence so this is Ava by the way so I did a shoot with her the first time in, on Sunday in Midtown Sacramento so the sun catcher is on top of this frame right now uh, in this case when I, I was taking this picture I have to hold up 
all the way straight up to the uh, sun and then the sun will like lift, uh, go went through the uh, sun catcher and then became like different ray of rainbow light so just uh, check out my previous video I have posted like two or three sun catcher video related I think two of them um, in in the photo shoot list and you can see how I did it so I was uh, as I was talking I was doing some adjustment of the rotation and then on the contrast also so I'm gonna save this one and then copy so I've saved it first and then do a copy and paste of this uh, edit so I'm gonna just copy and paste it three times because three of them are similar even four times is faster so I paste it three of them and all I need to do is just to rotate it back rotate back the uh, image so that it's more perpendicular to the ground and then crop it 4 by 5 for Instagram and let me save it and then so crop it 4 by 5 for Instagram I really like this one because it's uh, the eyes are very focused on the eyes and the rainbow adds some complement on the body also so I'm gonna save this one and then the next one because I, I copy the similar uh, tone to this one already so all I need to do is just rotate a little bit to the left and then I save it I crop it to the, a little bit to the right so just leave it on the offset to the right side because her face is facing from the right to the left so the left side should have more room to the left whatever her face direction just leave more room to that side and then this one so this one I didn't copy so let me copy edit copy and paste these two also just paste it and let's see so this one I will crop it closer I don't want any white area on the right side so it's more concentrated so I'm gonna just crop it very close for this one and then I will rotate more perpendicular to the ground using the edges as the uh, the benchmark for the perpendicular to the ground so I just reduce a little bit just to keep a feel from the side profile I think I will reduce the exposure even more so that it's more concentrated on the center of the body so that's it for this one and this one I copy those edit also and let me do it like this so make, make sure it's on the top third area of the frame and then save it and I think the last one also I'm gonna show is just the uh, um, this one from the front so uh, before I get into that you can see that um, the side has some white edges I'm probably crop crop it out but uh, just to be more focused on the face you can just crop it closer just crop the edges to make it more uh, to make it cleaner for the overall images you can just crop a little bit of the head is fine so just uh, focus make sure the eyes are on the top third just leave more headroom on top and I will reduce the um, I will reduce the exposure even more because it's still too bright to me and then increase the contrast and I think this is it I can just leave with that I can crop even closer just a little bit tiny a little bit tighter in the center so that the edge even looks cleaner so that's my editing tutorial today uh, thanks so much for all the support in my Instagram so uh, I will have a more critique video and editing video coming up thanks for so much bye